Imagine waking up in a world where humans weren't the only rulers, where something stronger, smarter in some ways, and terrifyingly resilient walk beside us. Superhumans, but not the ones from comic books. They were real, Neanderthals, not the slow, dim-witted cavemen you've been told about. No, they were bigger, faster, and in some cases, smarter than us. For 400,000 years, they ruled Europe and Asia. We, Homo sapiens? We were just an afterthought, a weaker, smaller species trying to survive. Until one day, we weren't. Because something happened, something mysterious. The Neanderthals vanished, and we took over. Chapter 1, The Battle for Survival, Neanderthals versus Homo sapiens. Around 300,000 years ago, a battle was quietly unfolding on Earth, one that would change the course of human evolution. The first chapter in our journey begins with two species of humans, both vying for dominance. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens live side by side in a world that was both brutal and fascinating. These two species were more similar than different, yet one would eventually fade into extinction while the other would go on to dominate the planet. The question remains, how did Homo sapiens rise to the top? And what drove the Neanderthals to extinction? Neanderthals were the first to occupy Europe and parts of Asia, adapting to cold climates, hunting massive beasts, and even crafting sophisticated tools. Their bodies were stocky, strong, and perfect for surviving in harsh ice age conditions. They hunted large mammals like mammoths and woolly rhinos and created shelters to protect themselves from the brutal weather. However, despite these strengths, Neanderthals faced challenges that would eventually lead to their demise. Homo sapiens, on the other hand, emerged from Africa around 200,000 years ago. They were more slender and built for endurance, with complex brains that allowed for advanced communication, social structures, and innovation. Early Homo sapiens started migrating out of Africa, spreading across the world, and gradually interacting with Neanderthals in Europe and Asia. But here's where things get interesting. Evidence suggests that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals didn't just coexist, they interacted. They exchanged knowledge, tools, and even genes. In fact, many modern humans carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA which speaks to the interbreeding that occurred between the two species. So, how did Homo sapiens outlast their Neanderthal cousins? It wasn't just about being physically stronger, it was the brain power of Homo sapiens that tipped the scales in their favor. Chapter two, the tools that shaped us, innovation and adaptation. Let's take a closer look at the tools these two species used. Neanderthals were master tool makers, crafting sophisticated flint tools to hunt and butcher large animals. But Homo sapiens took tool making to a whole new level. They didn't just use tools, they innovated. They created more advanced tools and even began to develop specialized ones for specific tasks, like fishing and sewing. Homo sapiens were also the first to create art cave paintings, carvings, and sculptures that represented abstract thinking and culture. Neanderthals may have had some artistic expression, but nothing to the scale or sophistication of what Homo sapiens achieved. This ability to innovate, to think beyond immediate survival, played a crucial role in their success. While Neanderthals were experts at surviving the cold and harsh climates, Homo sapiens could adapt to changing environments and invent new ways of living. This flexibility allowed them to thrive across various continents and climates, from the icy tundra to the scorching deserts. In short, it wasn't just about surviving, it was about thriving. Homo sapiens didn't just adapt, they shaped their environment. And as they did, they developed the communication skills that would allow them to work together in larger groups, strategize and build complex societies. This was a game changer. Chapter three, the social edge, the power of cooperation. The real advantage Homo sapiens had over Neanderthals was their ability to work together. 
early Homo sapiens formed complex social structures and networks. This allowed them to hunt in groups, share resources, and protect each other. They learned to cooperate and create bonds that went beyond simple survival. Neanderthals, by contrast, may have been more isolated in their social groups. While they were skilled hunters, evidence suggests that they didn't form the same kind of complex social networks that Homo sapiens did. As Homo sapiens developed more sophisticated communication methods and social structures, they were able to organize large groups for cooperative hunting, defense, and building communities. They learned to collaborate, share knowledge, and pass down skills through generations. This social strength allowed Homo sapiens to overcome challenges that Neanderthals couldn't. They could coordinate large-scale hunts, share knowledge about new tools, and protect each other from threats. The bonds they formed made them resilient in ways that the Neanderthals, despite their physical strength, could not replicate. Chapter 4, The Great Extinction. What happened to the Neanderthals? As Homo sapiens expanded across the globe, Neanderthals began to disappear. The exact cause of their extinction remains a topic of debate among scientists. Did Homo sapiens wipe them out in violent conflict, or did the Neanderthals simply fade into the background as the world changed around them? Some experts suggest that climate change played a role in the Neanderthals' decline. As the Ice Age ended, temperatures rose and environments shifted. Neanderthals adapted to the cold may have struggled to survive as the planet warmed. Homo sapiens, with their greater adaptability, could move into new environments and find food more easily. Others argue that competition between the two species could have been a factor. Homo sapiens, with their superior communication and social networks, may have outcompeted Neanderthals for resources. There's also the theory that disease brought by Homo sapiens could have decimated Neanderthal populations. Or perhaps the Neanderthals simply failed to adapt to the changing world in time. One thing is clear, the Neanderthals didn't just vanish, they left a legacy in the DNA of modern humans. As mentioned earlier, many of us carry a small percentage of Neanderthal genes. Some studies even suggest that these genes could have contributed to our immune system strength as they provided resistance to diseases that emerged after Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa. Chapter 5, The Neanderthal Legacy, What We Can Learn From Our Ancestors. While Neanderthals are often portrayed as primitive, recent research has revealed just how sophisticated they were. They were capable of speech, used fire for cooking, and even had the ability to care for their sick and elderly. Neanderthals had the capacity for empathy, compassion, and emotional connection. They were not just cold-blooded hunters. They were social beings just like us. Homo sapiens inherited many of these traits from their Neanderthal cousins. The Neanderthals were not a failed experiment in human evolution. They were a crucial part of our shared ancestry. They played a significant role in shaping who we are today. As we look back at the Neanderthal legacy, we see more than just a footnote in human history. They were resilient, adaptive, and intelligent beings who faced challenges head on. They were our equals in many ways. And although they no longer walk the earth, their story lives on in us. Chapter six, the future of human evolution. What's next? So what does the future hold for Homo sapiens? We've already achieved so much in terms of technological advancements, exploration, and understanding the universe. But we're still evolving. The story of human evolution is far from over. Our ability to adapt, innovate, and cooperate has led us to dominate the planet. But as the world changes, we too must change. With advancements in genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, and space exploration, the next chapter in human evolution could be more extraordinary than anything we've seen before. As we continue to push to the boundaries of science, the question arises, will we one day encounter another species as intelligent and capable as us? Will we face a new kind of battle for survival, just as our ancestors did with the Neanderthals? 
Only time will tell.